Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be seeing if we can find Dutch in between the end of chapter 6 and before we see him in the epilogue and the very last mission of the game, American Venom. So as you guys know, at the end of chapter 6 in the final mission, Red Dead Redemption, this is where the gang officially splits up. We see the betrayal of Micah Bell. We see some of the gang members like Javier and Bill actually pick sides and choose to go with Dutch. And then, of course, after Arthur's death, we see Dutch sort of walk away in disgust. He can't believe what has happened to his family, his gang, all that sort of stuff. But we don't really know where he goes. However, we do get some ideas of where he appears in the epilogue and where he might have been before he shows up in the mission American Venom. So if you get one of the Endgame newspapers, which gives out a lot of details, and you order the Blackwater Ledger number 73, you'll see one of the articles titled Notorious Bad Man Alive, and that's referring to Dutch Vanderlyn. So it says, Vanderlyn reported seen in tall trees, that's important, on the run seven years, gang members still at large. A dispatch from Tall Trees reports a sighting of infamous outlaw Dutch Vanderlyn, who has been on a bloody run from the law for many years now. The notorious Dutch's Boys gang once plagued this state, but it was believed to have been disbanded long as 1899. Two of his henchmen, Hosea Matthews and Arthur Morgan, were both killed in separate raids by Pinkertons. Gang members Bill Williamson, Micah Bell, John Marston, and Charles Smith are still believed to be at large. A telegraph from Mexico reports that Javier Escuela is believed to reside in the mountain region there. The massive sum of money taken in the Blackwater robbery by the gang has never been recovered. It is said to have been stashed in the town somewhere after the gang escaped. Rumors that gang member Micah Bell returned to retrieve the hall still persist. The bloody days of the Vandalin gang are the stuff of legend, appearing in pulp novels and even memorialized in popular song. Law enforcement have pledged to continue searching for Vanderlyn, who still has one of the largest bounties on his head for kill or capture. So in general, this gave us a lot of detail. We clearly see the article mention Hosea Matthews and Arthur Morgan. They were both killed by Pinkerton raids, so it seems as if, according to the newspaper, the Pinkertons took credit for Arthur Morgan's death, which we know isn't true. It gives us some details of what happens to the other gang members, how they're still at large, how Javier went to Mexico, and that we still don't have a lot of details on the Blackwater robbery or the money. But the big thing here is that Dutch was spotted in tall trees. So that kind of raised a couple of questions for me. Can we see Dutch somewhere in tall trees before the mission American Venom? So if you've never seen Tall Trees on the map, it is a section to the west of Blackwater and to the west of Beecher's Hope. And it's one of the furthest west sides of the map before you actually get to New Austin. So you guys can see there are a couple of things that are around the lower Montana River, Aurora Basin, Evelyn Miller's Cabin, Tanner's Ranch, Bear Claw, Manzanita Post, etc. However, the location we are going to be looking for today is one that I haven't even discovered yet on the map. And that is, and hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, Cochinay. So because Cochinay is in this West Elizabeth, uh, New Austin region, it was featured in the original Red Dead Redemption map. And it was actually a criminal hideout used by Dutch Vanderlyn. Now in Red Dead Redemption, Cochinay is the home to the Native American population of West Elizabeth, and Dutch Vanderlyn starts to recruit Native Americans from reservation into his new gang and makes Cochinay his stronghold. The natives upset at being pushed from their lands by the U.S. government and the rapid development of the region embrace Dutch's anarchistic views and openly participate in raids against settlements. So that's where he ends up staying. Now, in Red Dead Redemption, it is much more snowy, and of course, it is way more developed than what we're about to see in Red Dead Redemption 2. In the first Red Dead Redemption game, it is a full-blown like stronghold. There's buildings and structures. Uh, in fact, there's three different areas uh, of this entire place. Whereas if we actually head there in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can't actually find any of that. So it's this long winding path that you'll find in the very northwestern part of Tall Trees. And if you visit there, 
it just sort of seems like this dead end. It's like something was supposed to be there, but nothing has been developed. Well, that's because we're still about four years away before we'd see any structures like that. But still, according to that newspaper, Dutch Vanderlyn was seen in tall trees. And I don't know about you guys, but there aren't a whole lot of other areas in tall trees where Dutch could probably be. In fact, most of the areas are pretty sparse. It's just Woodlands and Skinner Brother hideouts for the most part. And you can see this is where it is officially located on the map. It's literally just like a dead end. So what is here? Well, a whole lot of nothing. I came here seeing if I could find Dutch Vanderlyn. And on the surface level, it doesn't seem like anything is going on here. However, something very strange occurred when I was at this location. And I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is Rockstar trying to tell us something, but when I was waiting here, just sort of examining the area, one of the white, like, random encounter blips suddenly popped up on my map. It was only there for a split second, but it kept flashing over and over and over again, and when I went to go check the map, I couldn't see anything, but the direction in which it showed up was directly south, sort of the ridge in which we cannot get on in this area. So that's kind of mysterious right there. And honestly, I would challenge you guys as well to go to this exact same spot and see if this little dot actually appears. Am I the only one who's seen something like this or have there been others that have noticed that? So that's kind of weird that just a couple of years before Dutch makes this his hideout, you can go here and find this random white dot flashing. And as you guys can see, there's like nothing more past that. So it's not like there would be, you know, NPCs hanging out up there. I also didn't hear any lines of dialogue or anything like that. So I'm not too sure what to make of this little area. Now, one thing I wanted to try and do is see if I could actually get up to that little ledge and ridge, very similarly to what we did with Bigfoot, the sort of the Lonely Giants hideout, trying to go up there. And while I wasn't able to get up there directly, I was able to get up on a slightly higher cliff. And then I tried to pull out my binoculars to see what was going on up there. Once again, it's a whole lot of nothing. So are you going to find Dutch Vandalin here? No, uh, he's probably not going to just show up and say, hey, John, how are you doing? Uh, but it is kind of cool that this area exists and something pretty mysterious is going on with that random white flashing dot. Now, why Dutch chose this location to make his hideout, I am not too sure. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that he wanted to be close to Blackwater. The reason I could see that is because of the money that they eventually stashed away. Although, based on the ending of the game in American Venom, it's clear that Dutch really doesn't care about the money because he just lets John walk away with it. So I don't think he's all that concerned with the money. So that's probably not the reason. The other reason I could see is maybe for whatever reason he wanted to be close with his mother. As you guys know, Dutch's mother, Greta Vanderlyn, is buried in black water. Now, I don't know the relationship that Dutch had with her, but maybe he wants to be sentimentally close. I'm not too sure. Or maybe he just chose this hideout because he thought it was remote enough, he thought no one would end up finding him, or because it was close to those native reservations, and that no one would dare go through the tall trees and risk getting hunted down by the Skinner brothers, as we've covered in other videos. So maybe he felt like it was just a generally safe spot in order to hang out. So getting back to the original newspaper post, does this mean that the newspaper was wrong? Probably not. It's probably just a reference to Dutch's whereabouts from 1907 to 1911, but it is kind of interesting that they said he was spotted there. So I'm sure other people have seen this as well and stated, hey, Maybe I can find Dutch in tall trees as well. So I would definitely recommend that you guys check out this area for yourself. See if you can see that flashing white dot like I did. And also see if you can find anything new. Now, upon doing some more research on this topic, it seems as if the Blackwater Ledger is not the only newspaper that covers this story. If you have the new Hanover Gazette number 38, it'll also have this topic covered on there as well. So it doesn't specifically have to be that newspaper. Uh, you can have the new Hanover Gazette number 38 uh, 
and that will also have the story. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this mystery, and if you think you can contribute to it, let us know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.